Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review the market. Just wanted to take a look here. It's the holiday week. Going to be slow trading, not a lot of volume in the market, but I really wanted to see what the market's doing today. So we closed Friday bearish. Actually, let's see where we closed. Oh, we closed right on 200. Barely hanging on to the support area from over here, which was 199.95 from the previous bounce on the 14th. We did gap up today. We're not flying through with it. That was obvious. The gap up today wasn't enough to get going. The only way we're going to get up and going again here and out of this area is really to gap up and gap up out of it more than we did today, like significantly. I wouldn't really call this gap today significant. We did open a dollar forty above the close from Friday, but that's not enough. Why? Because we've traded down hard, hard in the last, well, it was the last two days from last week, which was Thursday and Friday. Today is like neutral, but because we gapped up and we're falling and we're still holding, but really it's Thursday. And then the gap down follow through continuation on Friday and the fall on Friday into the support that we got to get around. And I'm not saying we have to gap up all the way to 209, but let's just look here at this. Well, it'll be really interesting to see the close of the year here. I mean, it will be extremely interesting to see how we actually close on the calendar year. Let me just find here the first day of the year again. Here. So we opened at 206.38. And it'll be interesting to see. Let's find that number here. It'll be interesting to see if we if we either gap up there or trade above that before the end of the calendar year. I think that that could happen. The idea of making an, another high before the end of the calendar year would be a dream target at this point now, given the way the markets acted last week on Thursday and Friday. And we could have very well done it. I mean, we had a nice bounce here into the FOMC minutes, which I predicted, and we rallied on it, and we should have followed through, but we didn't. And this gap was not really a gap to short and should have held us along, but very quickly did in the morning, so then you couldn't have gone long yet. And it, it wasn't anything that... I would have thought ever would have fallen like this, but when it did, we followed through Friday. Again, we were bearish on Friday. Today is just neutral, but it'll be interesting to see. Dream target is that we make a new high before the end of the year, and I don't think that's likely now. We don't have enough days left, and some of them are holidays, but we could close neutral on the year. It'll be interesting to see really how we act in the overall market before January 1st, well, 1221. So let's just look. The last trading day of the year actually is, look at the calendar. Well, it is the 31st. The market will be open half day, although no one should really trade on that day. But it'll be interesting to see if the market can close neutral on the year as far as the actual close on the year. I'm talking about the SPY. I'll review the cues maybe later today or tomorrow, but it will be interesting to see. We still could do that. But I believe 100% we have to gap up out of this area. We could do it in a series of gap ups like today, gap up tomorrow a dollar, gap up the next day a dollar. We could do it in a series of moves up. But in, in, in the ideal world, in the best case scenario, we have a large gap up in the market, a gap up to 204 or 205 or 206 even. And then we rally. I still don't think that's going to make us have a new high before the end of the year. But the market, for whatever reason, could not see the follow through on the FOMC minutes from Wednesday to Thursday. And when that happened then, with the very few left days left in the year, I'm not sure how we end up closing on that calendar year. We have to get up to that 206 area to be able to even close with a neutral price in the year. The overall trend of the market, though, is still bullish. It absolutely is. But we're not getting the follow through. In either direction actually so it's 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 interesting we're not really getting the fall through higher we're not really getting the fall through lower <laughs> we may not know the answers until January on this so we may not know the answers until January on this exactly but I will tell you that we're still in an uptrend many people would disagree with me but we still are holding the uptrend Follow through isn't happening to the downside either, but the market isn't ready to move higher yet. I don't know if we will before the end of the year or not. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. Have a great day, everyone. Happy holidays. 
If you'd like more information on the stock market class, which is December 28th, and we'll talk very specifically then about the targets for 2016, and then we will also talk about the gaps in the market too, in the SPY and the QQQ ETFs. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information. Have a great day, everyone.